In this video we're going to take a look at some English traffic lights because unlike back home in NZ where all the traffic lights are kind of more or less the same now especially as they're more or less all LED and everything's kind of just all the same the UK actually has lots and lots of different kinds of traffic light and it's actually very interesting now as you can see these traffic lights don't have a white border on them which means that they're the London specification traffic lights as everywhere else in the UK traffic lights have a white border around the outside but London specified traffic lights don't these are older traffic lights not LED and they're either I was going to say Mellors but I think they're fibre optic um, Mellors actually so they've got bulbs and lenses and as you'll notice the traffic lights in the UK have the added phase of the red and yellow together before green as opposed to straight to green that we get in NZ to be honest I actually think that this is better especially if you're driving a manual car say or something like that you know it gives you a bit of advance warning that the lights are going green and you're about to go so if you're at the front of the line I think that's very very helpful and that's definitely a feature that I think New Zealand should should have had Some modern talent traffic lights have got these little things on here for the uh, bicycles They're all LED these. We've got a little countdown timer on. These are the new style talent, so these are all probably quite new. The, uh, one of the new style smarter crossings that you don't find in London very often people in the way somebody actually pressed the button a second ago and it's gone out because there are some cameras up there that detect whether or not people are waiting for the crossing so if I was to move away the crossing wouldn't activate And these kinds of crossings, I can't remember what they're called, they're named after another animal because the old style ones are the pelicans. Now, of course London and Birmingham tend to specify pelican crossings rather than these these days. But this is one of the new star smarter crossings here, which is what pretty much everyone else in the UK is going for. So there's these cameras, so if you press the button and cross before the lights change, the cameras will recognise that there's nobody waiting to cross and cancel it. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Here we have another set of traffic lights. Now this light, now these lights you'll notice are regular spec, not London spec, because I've got the white border. But this is actually another type of crossing. This is called a toucan crossing because it does bikes as well as pedestrians. Hence why it's called a toucan crossing. And this has also got the smart camera technology, so it's not a pelican either. Rather, it's a one of the new smart ones that I still can't remember the name of I'll have to look it up eventually so if I were to leave the crossing at this point without crossing the cameras would detect that there was no one here if I was to leave the crossing and walk off down there the cameras would detect that there was no one waiting and wouldn't change the lights to red Interestingly enough, these, this crossing hasn't got a functioning beeper on it. There's no light on that one, just a button. But interestingly enough, you'll see here, if I cross the road and leave the camera area... Oh, someone else is cutting through. So there is someone else standing there. But in a moment... thinking about it ah oh, okay the lights have already gone red so it has gone to green but I was hoping that it would cancel oh, well, so here's another different set these are LED traffic lights from Motus oh, 
Oh, and here come some buses as well. Let's get a close up on one of these sets when it changes. Traffic light at the London Transport Museum. It's got LEDs in it. It's a peak. a very very old traffic light at the London Transport Museum it's even got the word stop written on the uh, red light now unfortunately it appears that this light doesn't change it stays constantly on green which is a right real royal shame it would be nice to see this light flashing around and changing but oh no there it goes it does change oh, it's gone to yellow now, I'm beginning to think maybe only sits uh, every minute or so on each colour. It might just be because the traffic light is so old that they have to uh, put the bulbs on. Oh, look at that. Now the red's lit up. There you go. For a moment, it was sitting on green for ages, and for a minute there I thought it wasn't going to change, but... No, no, there we are. There it goes. Red and yellow together. We'll get green in a second. The red's not very bright, I must say. Very, very slow change on this light, but it might just be because it's so, so old. There we go, back to green. This particular junction has some London spec Mellor traffic lights, some old Siemens brand Mellors. And there's not many of these left. Well, there's a few left. I've seen a few dotted around. This junction no longer comprises entirely of Mellors. It's had some newer fiber optic units installed, probably peak. There are cars turning right. I'm wondering if that right arrow is probably just burned out. Oh, the bus stopped here now. We'll have a look at this set when it changes. This set's got a nice big green arrow on. This set here is only a pedestrian crossing on the junction, so it won't change unless I press the button. Okay, hopefully this comes out clearly enough because it is getting dark, but this is a set of Roadworks temporary traffic lights. This LED. Traffic's still coming through the other way at the moment. So... Probably won't be going red, uh, green straight away. Traffic up ahead is stopping. Yep, there we go. I think this footage should just about come out being dark. Oh, there we go. There we go. Red again from Pike Signals Limited. Nice 
set of old Manor traffic lights. And I'm on top of a bus. <laughs> We've got Siemens LED traffic lights, but these ones have got the white border because, and even though I am still uh, in London, you do you do find traffic lights in London, particularly in the outer areas of London, with the white border. I think in central London you'd be hard pressed to find any. But I think the closer you, and closer you get to central London, the more you tend to find them without the border. Nice LED traffic signal. And this LED traffic light, you'll notice, has got clear lenses. There's no colour in any of those lenses. And that's how LED traffic lights should be, because it means that if the sun shines on the lights, you don't get any glare, which makes it much harder to tell which colour is lit up. Unfortunately, where I live in New Zealand, they all have coloured lenses. But this is much, much better without. Siemens are probably my favourite manufacturer of UK traffic lights. I think theirs are the best, personally. This very clever little serrated nub underneath all the lights. And it's so that people who are visually impaired can uh, can uh, tell when the green man. So now it's gone to red man, it stopped spinning. It's a very, very clever design feature and the popular YouTuber Tom Scott did one of his early videos on that. So, because not all pedestrian crossings uh, in the UK have a beep to tell you when the green man's up, this one doesn't. And so if you're visually impaired and there's no beep, that's very, very helpful. And actually, back home in New Zealand and also Australia and other places that use the same type of lights as us do a very similar thing where the cross button arrow vibrates to tell you that it's safe to cross. Very, very similar feature. Now over here, you'll see some lights which have these very special hoods on over the yellow and the green man. And they do that when you have two sets of lights in close proximity, because there's a set there and then another set here. And they do that so that the green and orange lights only show up for the traffic that is in close proximity to the lights. If you move too far away, like back there for example, you actually can't see the colour of the light anymore. So it's designed so that only traffic close to this set of lights can actually see the, uh, the green light. You see, now that I'm all the way back here, if I zoom in on those lights, you can barely see the green colour. So it means that somebody who's waiting at this junction doesn't see the green light up ahead and accidentally mistake it for this green light and then cause an accident. So it's actually a very innovative safety feature. What a knobhead. He's completely blocked up the whole junction. What an idiot. So this you'll see here, we've got some peak signals and then a meller at the top. This is actually a proper Pelican crossing, complete with flashing yellows and flashing green men. It will change in just a minute, somebody's just pressed the button. So we should get the red light any minute now. Yep, there we go. Full beeper. And then what we get on these pelican crossings is what we call the flashing amber phase and also a flashing green man over there. The red man. So the difference with these types of pelican crossing as opposed to the um, as opposed to the other kinds I've showed you where it just goes red and yellow green what the flashing uh, orange light on these pelican crossings means is it means that cars can go if the crossing is clear but must wait if there are still people crossing it's actually very very clever and you only see it at pelican crossings 
Here we have another kind of temporary traffic light. Not sure who made these. It's LED. Yeah, I've heard mixed reviews of that particular kind of traffic light. At least this one has got clear lenses on it. Because this particular type of temporary traffic light generally doesn't come with any uh, hoods on it for the sunshade hoods. And when they have the coloured lenses on, it can make it bloody hard to tell which light is actually the one that's lit up. But thankfully this one's got clear lenses on, so it's fairly clear. So I just checked and they're branded as SRI, these lights. So these are peak signals, peak fibre optics, and this is an actual proper Pelican Crossing. Interestingly, there's a green button on this side. It's already changing. Proper flashing. <laughs> a red button on this side as well. Proper flashing lights. This looks like a full pelican crossing, but it actually isn't. Oh, there's a bus. So this is a pedestrian crossing with Motus Signals LED lights, but you'll notice in a second that it's not a full pelican. You'll see why in a second. Right. So unlike a normal Pelican crossing, which has the flashing green man and the flashing yellow light, this crossing just cancels the pedestrian phase, and goes red and yellow, green, like a normal set of road traffic lights would. And that's why this particular pedestrian crossing isn't a typical Pelican crossing. It is in fact just a uh, just a pedestrian crossing, not necessarily Pelican. And LED signals by motors. Actually, I've seen quite a lot of these kinds of uh, crossings around, and so. I think it seems to be coming more and more common around London these days because I've seen quite a lot of pedestrian crossings around with this kind of phase. A lot more than there used to be when I lived here. Throughout this video you will have heard me refer quite a lot to fibre optic traffic lights. Now it doesn't actually mean that the traffic light is running on you know, fibre optic lights. What it actually refers to is a special kind of lens inside the light. I mean, fibre optic is what I've heard it referred to as by other people. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's a special kind of lens inside the traffic light that spreads out the colour evenly across the whole circle, circle, across the whole lens of the traffic light. And the interesting thing is that both LED and non-LED traffic lights uh, over here actually have them because the original traffic lights, the old Mellor traffic lights, were literally just a bulb and a coloured lens. Then the fibre optic ones came along and they were fairly much they were a fairly much the same concept. It was still just a light bulb and a coloured lens. But in between the bulb and the coloured lens was this special optic lens which actually spreads out the light from the bulb and spreads it out evenly across the coloured lens, lens, giving a much more clearer and more rounded image around the light and that same um, design idea has been used has been continued to be used into the LED era of traffic lights and that's actually another area where UK traffic lights are different from traffic lights uh, in New Zealand because in New Zealand we don't bother with the with the optic lens I have seen one or two sets of LED lights in NZ which do have the um, the optic lens on them, but you generally just don't find them uh, in NZ. They just they just use a dot matrix, which does exactly the same job. So 
it's kind of interestingly enough even if both you have both led and non-led optic lights you can actually tell them apart because um led traffic lights will change instantly between the different colors whereas non-led ones will fade between the different colors as one bulb goes out and another one comes on you don't get that with leds so you can still tell them apart. So I'm in Birmingham now and here in Birmingham I've just found a Pelican Crossing with these lights made by Microsense. Now they began making these lights in the 1990s and it was basically what they thought was an update on the Mellor design. Maybe not so much but So like I said, Microsense began making these in the 90s because they thought that this was a nice update on the Mellor design but it really maybe wasn't so much but... Microsense basically thought that this was better than, um, than fibre optic traffic lights whether or not they were is open to interpretation it's a bit rainy today, so... So the difference with these lights is that most of the Mellor style lights I showed you in London were mainly made by Siemens. Well, originally Plessy before Siemens brought them out. These ones though were actually made by GEC Traffic Automation Limited, who used to be called GEC Elliott. So these are slightly later GECs because they don't have the Elliott name on them anymore. And they look very, very similar to the Plessy slash Siemens ones, don't they? But they're not the same. There are some differences. Harborn near Birmingham we have some LED traffic lights made by the TSEU group now don't quote me on this but I have a feeling that they may have been the successor to Microsense I'm not 100% sure but they didn't last very long because Microsense sorry because TSEU was bought out by Talent and they continued to make these for a while under the Talent name and then, and now tell into making some new uh, traffic lights, which I showed you um, near Buckingham Palace in London. But yeah, some, although there is one seaman set over there I've noticed.
to just confirm my own theory because here's the control box that's the TSEU logo Microsense so yes TSEU did replace Microsense in fact you can get a better look there at the logo and if and in fact TSEU group Microsense Systems Traffic Signals UK so yeah but but TSEU group's gone now because they were taken over by Talent. So over here we have another Siemens traffic light. Now this looks just like another Siemens LED, but it's actually not. No, no, no. In fact, that's actually a Siemens fiber optic light. And the bus came through at precisely the wrong moment there. So it looks exactly the same as the LED units on the face of it, but it's actually a fiber optic unit. There's a microsense look with LEDs. That light unit itself actually looks fairly old to me, so it may not be original. It may actually be an older unit that's been retrofitted with LEDs. That's entirely possible, but I don't really know. Here's a rather different kind of traffic signal that you so often find in the UK. These flashing orange lights these are dotted around school zones and when they flash it means there's a 20 mile an hour speed limit and when they're not flashing whatever the normal speed limit is applies and here we have some new peak LED traffic lights oh they change immediately toucan crossing else interesting SRI temporary light pelican crossing well they're actually peak signals all the I think they make all these SRI units that was a red and green man Yeah, they are made by peak signals actually. They are. 